I almost hate to give this kind of information away because people come down and see it and we don't want it to be taken away from us. This is so gorgeous and beautiful that it's a, it's a place that we, we hold sacred. When you hear people talk about an area in hollow terms like that, you tend to think about national parks like Zion, Bryce, maybe a red rock expanse down in Moab. Not a trail outside of Beaver, Utah. Because some of you might be thinking, what's Beaver anyway besides a few exits off of I-15? There's more to Beaver County than just the gas stops and of course the cheese factory and everything else that goes along with people associate Beaver to be. Now I know what you're thinking, are you sure? Trust me guys, I used to think the exact same thing. But over the last few years, I've had the chance to explore the trail less traveled out here and meet the people that call Beaver home. It's been eye-opening, and now I can't seem to get enough, which is why I'm riding ATVs again with the Tusher Mountain ATV Group along the Rock Corral in the Mineral Mountains just west of town. I loved it, it was a great ride. It was called the Rock Corral Ride. This canyon we came down, I had no idea it was even here. It's the first time I'd ever been on this side of the mountains down this trail. It's a little bit of a challenge, but it's a definitely a moderate ride. We had the trail cat in here the first part of April to uh, clean it up so it was more safe for people to travel on. And uh, I think it's an awesome ride. There's nice riding for people who are new and, and can't handle a bike or four-wheeler. And then there's the, the more skilled stuff, like coming up here is a little bit higher skilled for a motorcycle. It's, it's hard riding. I enjoyed how there was like eight different terrains that we went through. So like it starts out as like just dust and dirt and then turned into like mountains and courts and it was really, it was really cool. And you'd be amazed just how quickly you can get to some pretty spectacular stuff. We'd only ridden a short time when we came to our first major stop. So right now we're in a place called The Park. Absolutely beautiful scenery surrounded by these giant granite cliffs. Where are we headed next, Michelle? We are going to the Granite Peak Reservoir. It's one of the triple C's. Triple C's. Now you're telling me, so this is a hiking place, right? Yep, this is a short family friendly hike and it's it's going to be cool. It's a secret and I'm about to let it out. <laughs> Let's go. All right, I'm just going to come out and say it. Granite Creek is pretty cool. I mean, look at this place. It's like something out of a tourism catalog from Europe. Hi, I climbed a rock. I need to get down from here. <laughs> what are you doing Saturday night? Oh, I don't know. I think we're yeah. doing something. <laughs> don't be hitting on the intern. Max, that's rule number one. What was your favorite part of the ride? <laughs> don't. <laughs> well, no need to use that language. My gosh. <laughs> Between the riding, the hiking, and the friends on the trail, I don't think there's a way anyone could come up short on a day like today. And I think that's what makes experiences so much more than just the sum of their parts. Any one aspect of the adventure by itself would still be pretty great. You'd have a challenging ride or the chance to climb granite cliffs, but together, they become something truly special. And that's what happens when you climb on your machine and decide to discover the world around you. It takes you places that you were in your backyard that you never realized were here. My, my wife, Laura, is with us today, and she has never seen this. And it's opening her eyes We've both lived here for over 40 years in Beaver County. And like most people, if you, if you have no access to these mountains, you don't really realize what's here. This is absolutely gorgeous. Well, what it does for me is it brings back to, to home what we have in the United States. We have the beauty of, of this country. This is, this is out where nobody's at. There's no cell phones, no running water, no power. You know, you, you end up bringing everything that you have. and it, it just unites them with nature. And uh, I love just the fact of bringing my kids to a place where they can, they can be away from the, the society and, and the turmoil of society. And that is one of the things that makes this place, well, sacred. Once again, I really want to thank everyone here in Beaver County for taking me on such an amazing ride. I mean, look at this. There's no way I was ever going to find something like this by myself. So if you want to go on rides like this, go into the Beaver County offices. They've got trail maps for you for all their ATVs and talk to Michelle and she'll give you specific directions on how to go on this hike. Well, more at your leisure. Happy break.